Hi up, it's Katie here, and today I'll be sharing my formula for a creamy coconutty body butter. This is an emulsified recipe, meaning it has both water and butters in it. It doesn't melt in high temps and leaves no greasy residue, which means it's great for hot summer days after tanning in the sun. Keep watching and find out how I make it. Okay, so because this body butter is emulsified, it starts with a water phase. I'm gonna be using some distilled water with a combination of vegetable glycerin, and some sodium lactate. These are both humectants, which draw the moisture to the skin and will keep you feeling nice and smooth. Okay, now I'm gonna give it a good stir. To give this body butter a classic creamy feel on the skin, I'm gonna be using a combination of coconut oil. cocoa butter, and golden jojoba oil. To thicken it up, I'm gonna need some cedar alcohol. And finally, I'll be using BTMS 50 to help emulsify the oil phase into the water phase. BTMS 50 is deeply conditioning emulsifier. With both my water and oil phases measured out and ready to go, I'm going to be placing my oils in a nice hot water bath to slowly and evenly melt them down. While the oil phase is melting down, place the water phase into the microwave for about a minute or until it looks nice and clear. Alright, now that my oils are all melted down, I'm going to remove the beaker from the water bath. Cool, now I'm gonna create my immersion. Add the water phase into the oil phase. Then after we do so, let's give it a good stir. Now that the two phases are together, I'm gonna give it a good stir until they're all mixed together. Okay, great, now I'm gonna be using an immersion blender to make sure everything is well blended and thickened up. Okay, so now I'm gonna give the blender some pulses. And now I'm going to be switching back to the spatula to give it a quick stir and give it an even consistency. Okay, so I'm going to want to let this cool to start to thicken up. This can take some time, but your patience will pay off. Doing this will give the perfect creamy body butter without the extra air in the formula. Then I'll grab my immersion blender one more time and blend it until I see that thick consistency I'm looking for. There we go, perfect. I've only got a few more ingredients to add, but first I'm gonna check the temperature. I'm gonna want the temperature to be around 110 degrees or below. And this is because we want the preservative to stay effective and the fragrance to stay smelling strong. I'm using Liquid Dermal Plus as my preservative, which is ideal for a formula like this. Not all preservatives are interchangeable, so make sure you're using the right one for your recipe. And finally, fragrance. My favorite summer smell is coconuts. It reminds me of laying on the beach and drinking tropical treats. Coconut is one of AFI's best sellers, and I can totally see why. I already have it pre-measured out, so I'm just gonna pour it in and then give it a good stir, and we're done. I love this formula because it reminds me of the body butters that I buy in store, but I can make it myself with a custom fragrance of my choice. These do well at craft fairs because they don't melt like other body butters, but they still have that creamy feeling. Okay, now that we have them all packaged up, let's just get the lid screwed on. The perfect way to finish off this product is giving it a custom label. I made about 16 ounces to fit into these two amber jars. With a cute little custom label, they're perfect for the product. It cost me about $4 to make this amount of product and package it up. They can be sold wholesale for about $5 to $8 and retail for $10 to $14. Let me know what other products you'd like to see me make here in the lab. As always, I'm Katie and I'm so happy you decided to join me here for today's how-to. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed following along with me and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.